So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. If you're looking to install Google Chrome onto your Fire Stick, then I'm going to show you how to do it. Stay tuned. It's time for streaming. So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Today I'm on the regular Fire Stick 4K and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install Google Chrome onto your Fire Stick in case you don't like the Silk browser. I had some people go ahead and email me and say, hey, time for streaming. The Google Chrome from your last video is not working. So here I am, I'm doing an updated video. So this way you can go ahead and put Google Chrome onto your Fire Stick. Now you can go ahead and put this also onto your Fire Stick 4K Max second generation. You're just going to need a different type of mouse pad to go ahead and navigate through it. But right now I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and install it on the regular Fire Stick 4K just using your Fire Stick remote. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead over to the left and let's go to search. Click on search. Then what you want to do is go over to the letter D, click on D. And we're looking to download Downloader. Click the Enter button on Downloader. On the Need Apps and Games, there it is, Downloader. Click the Enter button. Give it a few seconds to pop on up and say Download, you own it. Give it a click. If you like what you're seeing so far, click on that Like and Subscribe button and ring that bell. This way you know when I put up some more videos. I put up videos for Fire Sticks, Roku's, and Android devices. Now that it comes up and says Open, click on Open. Click allow and then click OK. On your Fire Stick remote, go ahead and click the home button. Let's go ahead over to where settings is. Click it. And let's go down to where it says My Fire TV. Now you want to go down to where it says Download Options. Apps will install. Make sure it's turned on. Click the home button again. Now what you got to do is go over to the right to where the three squares and a plus sign is. Uh, give it a click. Anytime you download something new, it's always at the bottom. Go ahead, find Downloader. Click on the three line remote button. That's how you move to front. Click that home button on your remote. Now download is here in first position. Let's go ahead and open it up. On the where it says enter a URL and search term, give it a click on the directional pad up one time. Click the enter button. You want to type in this shortcut. 218. 330, then go and click on go. Give that a few seconds, you're going to be redirected to the Time for Streaming webpage. Once you're on the Time for Streaming webpage, you want to go over to the right, click on the three lines, then you want to go to where it says Downloads. Go ahead and click on Downloads. Go to change the page. Now on the very top, you want to go over to the right where the three lines are, right next to the word Go. Click on it and say add current page to favorites. And you want to go down and highlight the word save. Click on it. Now this way, anytime you want to come back into the time for streaming webpage, all you have to do is go over to the left, come on down to where favorites is, go over to the right, just highlight it, click on it. It's going to say connecting and it's going to redirect you right to the download page of the time for streaming web page. Now we're looking for Google Chrome for Fire Sticks. Scroll down. You want to go to where apps are. You got sports in here. You got some adults, ad blockers. Here's app downloads. We're looking for Google Chrome for the Fire Stick. Click it. It's going to redirect. And it's going to start downloading it. Let's give that a few seconds to download. And we'll go ahead and come right back. After it's finished downloading, comes up and says cancel or install. Go ahead and click on install. Give that a few seconds also, and then we'll come right back again. Now that it has finished installing, you don't want to open it yet. You want to go ahead and click on done. Now click on delete, delete again. This is going just to take the app out of the downloader file, not from your Fire Stick. Now one more thing that you need is some mouse toggle. Go ahead, click on mouse toggle, and let's open that up and let it install itself. Let's go ahead, click on install. Should be really fast. Click on done. Go ahead, click delete and delete again. Now click on that home button on your remote. 
Now what you want to do is go over to the right where the three squares and the plus sign is. Click it. Let's go down and do the same thing that we did before with Downloader. Highlight the Google Chrome. On your remote, it's the three line button. Go ahead and click on it. Move the front. Come down again. Let's get that mouse toggle. Three line button. Move the front. Click on that home button on your remote. Now the first thing you want to do is go ahead now and open up mouse toggle. That'll be the first thing we need to do before we open up Google Chrome. And on the very bottom, you want to make sure that it says start it. Give that a few seconds and then we'll continue on to Google Chrome. Here, go ahead, say always, and then click on OK. Now click on that home button on your remote. Let's open up Google Chrome. Double click real fast on the play pause button. This is going to bring you up a virtual mouse. Once you get the virtual mouse, go ahead and let's go down to where that check mark is. Let's go ahead and uncheck this. And go ahead and say accept and continue. Go ahead, give it a click. Now here you are, you have your Google Chrome right onto your Fire Stick. Use your virtual mouse. Let's go down to where it says type in a web page. Let's go ahead, click on it. And now you could go ahead and type in whatever you want to give it a virtual mouse. Let's go ahead, double click it again, and it will go away. Now you can navigate around and type in whatever you like. After you typed it in, just go down to next, click on next. It's going to redirect you. And then you see time for streaming on YouTube. Go ahead and click that home button on your remote. I hope you like what you're seeing. Click on that like and subscribe button and ring that bell. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you like this, if you use it at all, or if you use something else. And remember, day or night, it's time for streaming.